Welcome to River City Plus, the show after the show, the River City After Party, where we get to break down the great day that we had on air. And we had a packed house today. It was a party for real. If you missed anything, go to RiverCityLiveTV.com. You can see those segments. But we're going to talk a little bit more about them right here. Yeah. It was a packed house for real. It, it really was. And it's always fun when we're coming right off the morning show because they have their guests. They had Porch Fest on. So Rambler Kane's playing. We're shuffling all of our guests in. I mean, we had music. We had cocktails. We had uh, Ponte Vedra talking about their customer appreciation. So it was, a, it was a, a big day. And I'm always amazed at how much we can cram into a half hour of fun. Well, I'm going to cram this little sentiment in there. As we made the transition from the morning show to our show, there was this whole thing about we're 53 days away from Christmas. <laughs> Can we get to Thanksgiving so before we talk about even the week before thanks or week of Thanksgiving? All right, let's get into Christmas. 53 days away. Come on. Let's let's enjoy the moment. I don't I, need to think about Christmas. I honestly like had to keep from like laughing loudly in my mic because your reactions and my reactions were so different when they had this little video where somebody was literally chiseling Mariah Carey out of a block of ice. She was getting chiseled out of a block of ice by pumpkins. Sounds like a fever dream or something that happens <laughs> at 4 a.m. But that's what was happening on our show this morning. And then she's just like, it's time. And then Rance literally just puts his head down on the desk. And I'm like, da 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 It was just like night and day, night and day reactions. Now, if you watch the show for years, you know, typically I'm kind of a Grinch. But I've come out of my shell a lot. Like, I've got decorations. I actually Ooh. put them up in a timely manner. But I'm like, I'm not doing it until Thanksgiving. I mean, people are already putting up trees and they're like well i'm gonna make it a, a fall festive tree or a harvest tree and right. then i'll i don't care it's not christmas yet i'm sorry so i i will say i had this conversation with some of my friends who are moms and they are like holiday moms they decorate beautifully for everything everything looks like a pinterest board um and they were like, the day after Halloween, I'm snatching these bats off the wall <laughs> and there will be garland. So I just can only imagine like when their kids come home from school, you know, and it was like, this is Halloween. And then it's like jingle bells. Like oh, no. <laughs> they left. It was Halloween town. They come back, you know, they're in the middle of a snow globe, which I just, I, I, I love that for them. But for me, I have to go in order because if not, I'm. I, it just seems so far away. So I'm like, okay, we're going to get to Thanksgiving and then we're going to get to Christmas and then we're going to get to New Year. So I just, I like to, I like to wait. I'm like you because then it's January is going to hit and I'm like, oh, where'd the year go? Where'd, it, where'd everything go? I got to wait till through. Easter. You know, <laughs> when's our next fun holiday? So that was my little soapbox sidebar. So, but the show today, like we said, was pretty awesome. And so Jana has really taught me a lot about sharing. And so we went to one of our favorite experiences. River and Post has won Best Rooftop Bar, Jack's Best Rooftop Bar, like three years in a row and stuff. And so they've just updated their menu. So Jana and I rolled through to uh, sample the wares. And were you not impressed? I really was. Now, for me, this is something like, you know, I've been on like a fitness journey. So I, I, I try to eat well and do better. <laughs> And then there's days I know that I'm going to go eat with Rance and I, I literally just don't eat anything until the shoot because I'm like, I want to try everything and everything was so good. We literally had just plates of pizza and wings and the fact that you have all of that with such a beautiful view, I think is is special because there's just something about being on the water that makes you feel fancy. Oh yeah, <laughs> and they tweaked the menu. So you saw a lot of pizzas and flats and wings. They actually have other stuff as well, but he just wanted to showcase some of the uh, more popular things mm -hmm. that people would be ordering. And I think you can actually order some of that down in the uh, restaurant and at the bar itself. Yeah. But for the rooftop, you are gonna be having experience, the cocktails, the food, the view, obviously. Obviously. And I mean, Chef Steve, he's doing some amazing things, I think. Uh, I, th I think so too. And I love the fact that he makes sure that he's very inclusive with his menu. So even down to the flatbreads, there's gluten-free crust, there's different substitute options. And the fact that they launched a digital menu that has beautiful photographs of everything. That was such a big thing for me because I like to see what something is going to look like. So in my brain, I know what I'm expecting. It's also nice because then I can watch all the servers coming out of the kitchen and I'm like, who's got my food? <laughs> well, that, and then it's like, all right, um, and I don't know if this is like a bad thing, but you could, they bring it out. I was like, this don't look like the picture. You know, I'm not really one to do that, but it's like, you know, you've gone to fast food in the day and stuff and it's like, they've got this image and then you get your burger like, 
there ain't no lettuce on here. I thought there was a quarter pound of meat on here. And so, but yeah, yeah, they're doing some big things at River and Post. And there's even more coming up. I know they've got a sick New Year's Eve party and some other events. So make sure you go to riverandpostjacks.com to find out what they've got going on. You can check out that menu and you don't order from the menu. You just get to see what's out there. You have a server because some people are like, well, I don't want to order from the menu. I want right. that personal experience. They still connect with you. You good. Yeah. Yeah, just add pictures. I like it. Now, somebody else offering a personal experience on another level, Ponte Vedra Plastic Surgery is celebrating 30 years, and Jana is like, I'm a kid in a candy store. I There's know, things about that. Jana. Food, or, food, yes, but animals, any kind of fur baby, she's about fashion, yes, and then when people are going to upgrade or do some stuff to tweak her look on the physical, she's about it, so I'm going to let you run. I, I am about it. Like, I have a very... And I get it. Like it, it's really all about feeling what makes you feel your best. So whether it's just skincare, whether it's neurotoxins and injectables, whether it's laser, whether it's surgery, I'm very Dolly Parton mindset. If you've got the guts to do it, if you've got the money to do it and you've got the want to do it, then you should do it. So that's kind of where I fall in that. And I do appreciate that Ponte Vedra Plastic Surgery is all about 30 years of self-confidence, 30 years of excellence, not 30 years of fixing people. Cause that's, that's really not what the practice is about. It's really about, you know, making people feel like their best self, whether that's getting rid of wrinkles. Like for me, I know I, um, even before I met them on the show, I was going there for Botox and for my facials and it just, you know, that's what makes me feel good. That's what makes me feel better. Um, it's, they just joke now because I, I like to go and see if my forehead and stuff is moving and they're like, no, and it's good. You need somebody that'll tell you no, no more for you. Like I, I need that in my life. I need, I need someone to set my boundaries. So they're celebrating those 30 years. They have an entire super bill of all of their deals and everything. And it's a great time of the year to buy. And I like that they'll let you buy in advance for the rest of the year. So it's like, you can go ahead and shop it. And this is where girl math comes in. If you buy it now, then basically it's free later when you use it. Oh, I like I, it's all in how you present it. Girl math. And, I like, and you were talking about if you can do it, if you've got the guts, if you have the money. They're giving people the opportunity that might not normally be able to invest in that procedure. Steals and deals galore. And I mean, fellas, if you need some, a special gift for your lady, I mean, they, you might have to preface it some way unless you've had that conversation because then she might be like, what is this? That's like giving somebody a vacuum on Christmas or whatever. So you have to figure that lane out. <laughs> but I, I agree. Mean, actually, if your significant other comes in and it's like, babe, I was thinking of you. I got you this beauty package and it's like whatever, Botox. But right. how, do, how do you take that? I'd, I'd be thrilled, but I mean, it's because it's somewhere I go. Now, listen, that doesn't mean you need to show up with like, here's 500 units of Botox. Like you could just do a gift certificate <laughs> so that she can get skincare, so that she can get a facial. Not everything has to be corrective. Now, if you give me a gift card to a new face, I'm going to use it so quick. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your face. Listen, if I can swap this out for 22 year olds, like I'm just going to. Y'all just... This is River City Plus. Let me just be real. If you're like, this is a gift card for a new face, pick it out. I'm going to be like a 22-year-old or Blake Lively. Give me either one of those. Or even Mendez or Cher. Any of those. <laughs> I'm just going All right, the for, wheels are off. Let's focus. I'm okay. going for Mechad, Mechad Brooks' six-pack, but that's not something I'm going to be able to work out there. That would be diet. So I'm, I have I'm to working on above the desk right now, so it's like... We start doing River City on the water. I'll work about that. <laughs> this this is what the people see. It's for you all, really, at the end of the day. So this weekend, speaking of females and empowerment, there's the I'm a Wo Every Woman three-day festival. Uh, Charmaine, she comes in. She actually has a mixology. I, I'm drawing a blank on her mixology. But she does traveling mixology. But she has created an event and a safe space for women to come together. And it's all about domestic abuse survivors and then being able to have a safe space and share their story. So she brought in Carissa Glanton from the selfie showroom and a Tunisia. She's got the silent disco, but it's three days of coming together. I think Friday they're having conversations and cocktails. I think there's yoga Sundays. Mm -hmm. There's something else Saturday. Oh, they're going to be at the selfie showroom Saturday. So uh, the Carissa was all about with the selfies. Like, I just want to give anybody, but especially women, a space where they can come in and they can get their best glam look without having to really work over it. Yeah. Oh, you got me in there? 
cocktails of sweetness. sweetness. Char's yes. truck is cocktails of sweetness. And our producer, Vaughn, told us about how she drives. Watch out when she's rolling, people. That's all I'm going to say. But it's a great event, and I like the concept that it's giving women a platform and, like, that safe space where they can come together. Fellas, you can come out, too, and it's, like, a good experience for you to kind of see what it's like for women in that area as well. And I think it's the fact that she has taken something that's so traumatic, that's so difficult, and you know, been open about it because I think a lot of times uh, people that are coming out of domestic abuse situations or any abuse situations, there's always some part of you that feels like you had something to do with it. There's a guilt that's attached to it. And what she mentioned is working through all of that as a group, looking at other women who are strong, who are smart. Like sometimes we, you know, even the best, smartest, well-equipped people get in situations that are bad with bad people and that and she's just saying that's not your fault and you need to let that go and here's other people that are going to help you carry that when you do heal heavy from it she mentioned embarrassment and i never even really considered that part of it she's like i was in a situation and i was embarrassed to be in it and taking a step back I can understand because we have many strong women like Jana and whatever, and we don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but if there is a situation where they're being abused, they are used to being in a power situation and now they're being diminished and they can't talk about it because everybody's used to seeing them being so strong. And so I'm really uh, excited for this event. I think this is her second year and she was she said she feels blessed what went down last year so this year it's probably going to be more epic so i mean supporting our locals that's what i said exactly always and we've got a lot of opportunities to do that so we just love that we get to highlight them every morning yeah. so we pretty we got a pretty good job yeah so have you ever broken a bone uh you know i have i've broken my nose four times i've broken my left hand twice and broken a rib. Okay. So none of those would require a cast. <laughs> oh, I had to have one on my hand. Oh, word? Yeah. So that's why I loved your conversation with Namor is when he was talking about just like how itchy and gross they are. I was like, I felt like a leper because <laughs> it's gross. Like they're gross. They're smelly and they're weird. And you got to like When you got to cut funny. off, was your, you were like, Ugh. I was like, I just had like a weird hand. And I'm not going to lie. That's like why this finger like points that way. I broke. Uh Bro so, broke it overseas. <laughs> so Nemours has a program called Splash Academy, and they're one of only two uh, places that offers these casts that are flexible. And what that means is they are, especially here in Florida, definitely a great thing. It allows the kids to get in the water. And I mean, it's super humid here. So there's always sweating. And then everybody is usually in the water, whether it's a pool, the ocean or whatever on a boat. So this gives them the opportunity to maintain their active lifestyle. And now that I've never broken anything, lots of stitches, lots of concussions that might explain a few things, but, <laughs> but for kids to be able to live their life to the fullest and enjoy it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I love how they're, they're always just so innovative there. And the fact that they're very patient forward and somebody is always saying, how would this actually affect a child? How would a kid think of this? And I think that's what really sets them apart as opposed to just adults wanting to adult for children. They, they really kind of put themselves in the, the shoes of the children and think about how they can heal them faster, better in a more effective way. And I was joking because I was like, well, we're getting into a part where we're probably not going to be in the water. I'm wrong. We're in Florida. People yeah. are going to be in the water all day or a day. So, all right. Kudos to Namor. So if you'd like to find out, oh, and it's free. I, I don't know that whole process, but there's no cost. There's no added cost to it. You know, you'll get the cast. It's made out of fiberglass. So, I mean, for parents that, I mean, they're always going to take care of their kid, but in the back end of it, okay, what is this going to cost me, you know? And so to know that their kid is going to be able to get their bone reset, still have an active lifestyle, and your parents aren't going to be like, we're not having Christmas this year, kudos. Yeah, So absolutely. if you'd like to find out more about that, just go to Nemours.org. All right, so if you want to hang out with us even more, we'll be right here at 1015 tomorrow for River City Plus and... So tomorrow, Jana's going to be at the St. John's Town Center. The holiday spectacular tree lighting ceremony is coming up. I know I got some insight. I know some people that are going to be emceeing the event. We're going to be dropping who the main uh, attraction, the main uh, act is. That yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Use your words, Rance. So, yeah. Somebody's right. singing and it's not going to be us. <laughs> oh, pl- I love you, Jana, but please, no singing. <laughs> all right. So, all right. You can finish now. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 930 on River City Live and 1015 <laughs> right here tomorrow on River City Shade. <laughs> love. It's all love. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>